Hi, I'm Alistair, and I make playful technology projects using Arduinos, Raspberry Pis, and various electronic components. And in this video, I'd like to teach you how to crimp your own cable harnesses to connect those components together. So if your projects currently look a bit like this, where you've got a complete rat's nest of wires on a breadboard going all over the place, um, what I'll tell you how to do is to create something like this instead, where you've got a nice, neat cable harness between your components. That's going to give you a more reliable electrical connection between them. It's also going to make them more robust. And if you buy a long length of cable and a pack of connectors, you can cut the cable to the exact length you want. It might even save you a bit of money compared to buying those pre-soldered Dupont cables that come in a pack. Okay, so obviously the first thing you need is some wire. And I like this. This is silicone wire, which is very flexible, as you can see, um, which I find sort of make it really easy to use um, if you're trying to install it in an escape room prop or something. Uh, it comes in different thicknesses. This is 24 AWG thickness, which is uh, probably the size you want to use uh, for connecting these sorts of components. So I take the end, and I'm going to strip a little bit off the end with my pliers here. Now, you don't want to take too much off um, just about sort of three millimeters or so, so I'll just strip it off the end. There we go. And you can see that this is stranded cable inside. So rather than being a, a solid core, as you might see in jumper wires, this is a stranded cable. I'm just going to twist it. Um, and that's quite important. That's the sort you want to use if you're making a harness like this. So I stripped a little bit off the end. Now I've got this uh, pack here of connectors, which comes with various things. So these are the male connectors. So if you wanted to make a cable that was going to plug into a female header, you'd use one like this. Um, and then I've also got a pack of female connectors, which look like this. Um, so I use a female one for this project. Um, the process of crimping the, um, if I can get this off, uh, it's basically the same whether you use a male or a female connector. So um, this this part of the process will actually be exactly the same. I can't actually get this one to come off. Come on, let's give that a twist. There we go. Okay, so this is what the connector itself looks like. And you can see at the end there, I've actually made a bit of a mess of getting that off. It's got a slightly sharp end. So I'm just going to neaten that up with a pair of scissors just so I have a nice straight end because I don't want any stray bits of metal getting caught in the connector. So here we go. This is the DuPont connector. So this is a female one, like I say. This is the end here that will attach the pin. Then we've got a section in the middle here uh, that's going to go in the housing. This bit here, this is where the wire is going to get connected to the connector. And then we've got these wing tips at the end. That's the cable grip that's going to hang onto the cable. So I'm going to place my cable in the end here and I want the bare metal to go into that section in the middle there for those clips there and I want the um, the flexible ooh, if I can just get the camera back in do you see there I have to see the end of the cable in the wingtip so let me try and take a little bit more off there because that wasn't quite enough to comfortably get a fit uh, there we go let's have another go at that just so I can show you how you want that to be lined up so you see I've got a good contact there with the, the bare metal into the middle section and then I'm just going to take my pliers again and just gently push those clips together onto the outside of the cable just to hold that in place so not a, a total close connection so there we go that's about where you want it to be lined up okay and get a good look at that Okay, now I'm going to take my uh, crimping tool. So I've got a ratcheting crimping tool. So as I uh, push it shut, you can hear the ratchet there. And you see it's got different sizes here for the different size of wire that you're uh, connecting it to. So I'm going to take my wire here. And you want it so that the, the wing tip ends there are pointing downwards. So I'm just going to try and twist that around. Sorry, apologies for the autofocus on the camera. So they're pointing there. I'm going to point them towards the bottom of the ratchet clamp. There we go. And I'm going to place it in just until the tips get sort of midway through the ratchet and close it halfway. Just so you can see there. So it's in halfway. I've got the wire coming out this side. Now it's not quite in straight. So before I clamp it all the way shut, I'm just going to 
adjust that slightly so it's nice and straight there and then when I'm happy that that is lined up straight I'm going to give it a final crimp and then we'll take a look okay so that's not too bad it's not the best but it's okay but you can see I've got a good contact between the metal clips and the bare wire here and then the cable support there has actually got a good grip on the silicon as well so if I give that a bit of a tug just to check yeah that seems like a fairly good connection so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this single cable and we're going to place it inside um, the right sort of housing so let's say we have a, a three pin connector like this so if you were connecting to a servo motor for example you might want power ground and a signal line so this is a fairly common uh, sort of connector here um, but it would be the same for however many different uh, leads you want to connect so we're just going to take our crimped wire so it's going to line up inside the housing about like there you can see how it will line up inside so we're going to push it this way up and we're just going to push it gently in now I'm getting a bit of resistance there because the cable grip there you can see it hasn't quite gripped well enough so when that happens you can either you can crimp it again or in my case what I'm going to do is just take a pair of needle nose pliers and just gently uh, close those cable supports up just a little bit more just so it gets snugly inside that housing okay so let's have another go I'm just going to push that again so I've got my slightly tightened up cable harness there I'm just going to push that in you shouldn't need to apply too much force once it's lined up there we go so it's just going to click in that last bit there and you can see it there just in the little window you should be able to see the square bit lined up and now that won't come out again because it's hitting that clip there so that's one wire in the harness and that's pretty good connection actually and then you just repeat that as many times as you need so here's a uh, one that's I've got four cables going in there obviously this wire comes in lots of different colors so um, you can you know create your own color coding system um, and that's uh, that's pretty much it